Hello viewers, this is Rajiv Bhomik and you are watching my channel Make Things Easy. In this video, I am going to explain you about PP in details. I will explain when PP is needed, how it is determined, what are the various types of PPs, what is PP matrix, how to take care of PPs. So watch this video till the end. See, there is a wrong concept among people that by using only PPEs, human safety can be managed. That is totally wrong. PP should be the last option for safety. Before PP, first we should think how those hazardous operations can be eliminated or impact can be reduced. If elimination or reduction is not possible, then we should think of implementing engineering controls like machine guarding, interlocks, double hand control switches, etc. Parallelly, some administrative controls also to be enforced like walking only through gangway, visitors to be accompanied with employee, etc. PP is the last option after doing all these. Let us understand what is PP. PP is an equipment that creates a barrier to mitigate potential workplace hazards. In other words, PP is a safety equipment that is owned to prevent injury in the workplace. When engineering and administrative controls are not feasible or even they are implemented. PPEs do not eliminate the hazard, but if the operating equipment fails, then exposure occurs to worker. For this reason, PPEs must be worn always. Now let us understand how PPEs to be determined. Evaluate every job function starting from entering through the gate to dispatch. In transit safety also to be considered for associated people of the organization. Break all job functions into sub activities and determine all hazards are present in each activity. Check for hazards to all parts of the body. Use some formula and categorize those hazards in a range of scale. Determine appropriate PP to mitigate all such hazards. In ISO, that means International Organization for Standardization, it is called HERA, that means Hazard Identification Risk Assessment. Now let us understand how many types of PPEs are there? Eye protection, face protection, respiratory protection, head protection, foot protection, hand protection, hearing protection, body protection, fall protection. In the next portion of the video, I will explain you all these PPEs in detail. Now I will explain you about eye protection. It is needed to avoid potential cause of eye injury from physical, chemical or radiation agents. Let us see few examples of such hazards. Machine, laser, impact, heat, tool, flying particles or dust, electrical work, chemical handling, welding, light, etc. So various types of safety goggles are used to avoid eye contamination or eye injury as shown in the picture. Face protection. It is needed when a work become the potential cause of facial injury from physical chemical or radiation agents. Few examples of such hazards are 
contents under pressure splash hazard flying objects or particles electrical shock welding etc so various types of safety face shields are used to avoid face injury as shown in the pictures respiratory protection it is needed when work presents an inhalation hazard few examples are working with uncontained chemicals working with highly toxic chemicals working in dusty environment painting welding etc so various type of safety mask are used as respiratory protection as shown in the pictures head protection it is needed when employees are exposed to hazards that have potential to cause a head injury examples of hazards are flying objects falling objects or materials working near exposed energized electrical equipment working around or on scaffolds working at construction sites working around overhead tools or machinery so various types of safety helmets are used to avoid head injury as shown in the picture foot protection it is needed when work presents hazards that have potential to cause a foot injury let us see few such hazards impact injuries spills and splashes compression injuries electrical shocks slipping heat and cold let us see few more such hazards falling objects rolling objects piercing and cutting injuries chemical exposure so various type of safety shoes are used to avoid foot injury as shown in the picture hand protection it is needed when a work becomes the potential cause of hand injury few example of such hazards are sharp objects capable of causing cuts abrasions or punctures chemical burns thermal burns electrical shock high and low temperatures so various types of hand gloves are used to avoid hand injury as shown in the pictures hearing protection it is needed when the average noise level of an area reaches 90 decibels over a period of 8 hours few example of high noise areas are mechanical rooms shops construction sites when working with machinery or power tools so various types of ear plug are used as hearing protection as shown in the pictures body protection it is needed when a work becomes potential cause for contamination or injury to other parts of the body such as legs arms back chest etc let us see few such examples of hazards heat splashes hot and cold metals and liquids impacts sharp objects chemicals electrical work radiation etc so various types of safety aprons or industrial boiler suits are used to avoid contamination or injury as shown in the picture
fall protection. It is required when risk of falling at heights of 6 feet or more and when the area is not guarded or protected by fall protection measures. So various type of safety belts and harness are used as fall protection as shown in the pictures. Now let us understand what is PPE matrix. Industry wise there should be a display board in which in each area what are the PPEs to be used to be mentioned. For example in the below table you can see in the first column all the working areas are mentioned and in the first row various types of PPEs are mentioned. So area wise what are the PPEs are applicable mentioned as yes otherwise no. So other than this PPE matrix display board each area wise small small portion boards also can be displayed as shown here. Now let us understand how we can take care of PPE. Always check PPE for damage before and after use. Clean PPE before storing. Dispose of and replace damaged PPE. Properly store PPE and avoid conditions that could damage them such as heat, light, moisture, etc. Do not fix or repair a damaged PPE. So viewers, I hope you have liked this video. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it, like this video, share this video and if you want to comment something, please leave your comment in the comment section. Thank you once again for watching this video.